Okay, it's not enough SD card space. I'm not sure why it said that. Because <laughs> it seems to be recording. But, um, alright. I had, I don't know what happened. Um, it's not worth explaining. It seems to think I'm at home. No, I am not at home. I don't know why. It just... The GPS is on. It should figure it out. <laughs> I'm not so far from home, but uh, maybe once we're outside, we'll get some help. Uh, all right, I can't remember what I said. I had some problems with my Bluetooth. Um, oh, um, yeah, so we gotta head over to uh, St. Paul. Um, nice. Um, listening to music even though it's kind of a ride because I might I need the directions and it's unexpected so I didn't charge um, the uh, thing the speaker and the slash light as I would have liked and that's the other thing is that um, I may well need the light on the way back so Going down Hennepin probably makes sense if I can get across. Uh, although it's kind of nuts there. I wonder if it makes more sense to go that way. And let's try that out. Hennepin looks like it's uh not a great solution to the issue. Let's go back. But I just waited and this would be the way that we were gonna be going. Rerouted because it finally figured out where I was. <laughs> that might be what was going on there. That guy's probably in a hurry because he doesn't have a back windshield. Uh, but for some, also is driving way too aggressively. That guy's gonna get somebody killed. I hope I got his driver's license. Oh, it's not like anybody's gonna see this. I didn't see him hit anyone, so uh, not not gonna be super useful. I think we can probably make it past this one, and then uh, I think that'll be fine going down first, and then I can hit the trail. Right onto North First Street, then turn left onto Hennepin Avenue. Clearly, that's what Google thinks I should do. Actually, it's a Hennepin Avenue. I guess I do have to get on Hen Hennepin ever so briefly. All right, we 
got 16 seconds. Turn left onto Henderson Avenue, then this. turn right. Turn right toward West River Parkway, then turn right onto West River Parkway. It may well have been quicker to go home and get the uh, electric assist. I mean, this is like super clear, uh, but the route I normally go might be muddy. I don't know if it's the best way to go, but uh, I guess I'll go that way since I have this bike. Although, maybe I shouldn't <laughs> get it all muddy since I've already taken it in for the season. Uh, I guess I can just wash it off though. I may have to stop and I don't even know if I have. Oh, I do have a head right. So. <laughs> I may well uh, stop and put that on. Ears are uh, kind of on the chilly side. I'm feeling some drift. I think it may just be because my tire is not super pumped up. The handlebars look straight. These are supposed to be good turning tires, so that may just be like the grip of the turn. And it feels Quarter mile. Continue Unusual, on but Avenue Southeast. maybe that's intentional. You know, I, this isn't the only fat bike and the only fat bike tires I've ever had. So, only ones I've ever ridden, actually. I, uh, yeah, I looked at some. This was the, this was a demo model. Was by far the cheapest they had a one-on-one. -on -one. So, uh, that's what I bought. <laughs> I mean, I, I just rode it. It seemed fine. So, uh, you know, at the time that I bought it, I was not uh, a huge cyclist. You know, I, I cycled to work, and that was, uh, that was really it. I mean, I, I went on a couple rides when I lived in Madison, but. Nowhere else have I ever go, other than Madison, have I ever gone on rides for fun, really. I uh, biked to get around Chapel Hill. I biked to get around in Cincinnati. I uh, biked to get around in New Hampshire. 
I did not have a bike when I was in Baltimore. Just walked or ran. There's a free bus called Charm City Circulator in Boston, or Boston, Baltimore. So I, uh, I'll ride that. Continue uh, straight onto 6th Avenue Southeast. Yeah, so I don't know where exactly this wants me to go, but I'm gonna go the way I know. In a quarter mile, turn right onto 5th Street Southeast. The way I know means I don't have to deal with cars very much. Uh, so, this is the route that I would take every day to Nagios. Uh, maybe on the way back I'll go the other way if it's still light. But we're in rush hour now. So, not a good time to be on the road. Having the <laughs> fat bike is useful for this kind of stuff, even if it's not snow. But uh, all in all, sure the E assist will be quicker. When I was riding the Nagios, I realized that except on the most snowiest of days, that if I went slow during the snow parts going slow in those parts and then going fast in these sections on the e-bike and that was better that was faster than uh, going around I mean going there and back was not enough to uh, run the battery down I think on some particularly cold day Feet, turn left onto Dinky Town Greenway. <sighs> you know, it would be great. Turn left onto Dinky Town uh, Greenway. Feet, flight right to stay on Dinky Town Greenway. Maybe I'll try it without gloves. I'll do one glove. One glove on, one glove off. See how that goes. I mean, definitely could be riding in this in t shirt. Right, right to stay on Dinky Town Greenway. In a quarter mile, flight right to stay on Dinky Town Greenway.
right to stay on Dinky Town Greenway. Definitely don't think it's cold enough to uh, freeze on to me today. Like it did that one time. In 800 feet, keep left. If you're not following me on Facebook or friends with me on Facebook or whatever, uh, I posted a video there of when I had on my rack up here, I had some freezing. And that was before I had a GoPro. I just was uh, holding my phone. In a quarter mile, turn right onto 25th Avenue South. 